<laughs> you guys thought I forgot. I didn't forget the clicker. I had that stuff going on last week, so I didn't want to do any clicker tricks or anything. Vlog today, pretty neat subject. I want to talk about whatever you put in is what you get out. And so I'll explain in more detail about that. But in the meantime, we had this crazy snow that came down and stuck on everything. But what happened was, it, it was so heavy, it stuck like to the edges of the tree. And so now the forest looks like this big whiteout. You got to check it out. the outdoor living. You know what happens is when it snows, we forget to look at the beauty of the snow and the ice and all that stuff. So yesterday, I was taking a ton of pictures, posting on Instagram and things like that, just enjoying the outdoor space, the outdoor living. I mean, if you're out here, you gotta enjoy it. Anyway, today my topic is about, you get out what you put in, but having the vlog and stuff like that, you know, you got friends, you actually have, uh, I've actually had more people, not friends, but businesses, kind of call me up and ask me, hey, can you do a vlog for me? You know, and, and the first thing they say is, you know, I really don't know how to do the video thing and I really don't want to learn, but I want you to do it and I only want to pay you pennies. I don't really want to pay you much for it, but uh, I want you to do it because I know video is like the new thing now and everybody's going to go that route, but um, I don't want to do it because I don't have time for it. So, you know, sometimes I wonder, I want to scratch myself. So you think I got time for this too? You know what I mean? It's a lot of work. And you can't use like a little cheap version because you have some, man, I'm just going to get this little basic app or or I saw this little cheap thing and it's got this little free video editor and I'll learn on that first. You know, what you learn on is what you become great on. So if you learn on this free app that doesn't do anything for you, doesn't give anything, that's all you're going to learn. So, and then I tell them, hey, the, the software that I use, W Premiere Pro, it's only like 30 some dollars a month. And then they're still going for the free stuff and say, I'll learn on something else. It's a learning curve. Like it takes me, it took me a while to learn how to use the editing software. And the more and more I use that particular software is the more I learn how to use it. So you know, the vlog is the day is like, whatever you put your efforts on is what you're gonna get back. So if you feel video editing or, or video production, get your business out there, if you feel that's gonna be the way to get you in front of more people or to do that, why wouldn't you put more effort into that? Like, what are you putting effort into but I just record a whole like minute rant and it didn't even record what am I thinking hey anyway this uh, nature walk is pretty hot I mean these trees are pretty amazing I didn't I, I honestly didn't know you could do this I need to start doing more of this uh, throughout the morning just kind of hang out and walk through the woods I do need to get like a beanie though I, I have one and I, I lost it somewhere and I got to get some gloves uh, anyway I was reading this book by uh, Ayn Rand I have right now it's called the fountainhead and it's talking about an architect who sort of didn't go to architecture school. He did, but he got expelled because he wasn't following the same way, this sort of classic style design, basic design. It's kind of what I see a lot around, um, actually in the Chicago land market. If it's not like basic patio, the other one is like this estate style design that sort of everybody is sort of copying it the same way. And I just don't fit in that realm. And what he was saying is the guy was like, hey, aren't you prospect and aren't you getting more business? He said, no, I'm promoting my business because the clients who want to do business with me will pick up the phone and call me up. And I sort of feel that way about some of the designs that we do. I was talking to Isabel yesterday and sort of got that aha moment about what it is that we do. And it's not just, it's just an outdoor living. Like when you think about landscaping, you think this round patio, sort of a uh, round water feature, like hot, uh, not a hot tub, but um, pond that's sort of in the back and a round fire pit what i actually like to do is i actually like to take rooms and put them outside so they may be more square linear sort of angle some areas where you put couches or you put the kitchen and stuff like that and you set the conversational piece just like the convo scapes is the thing that the new word that i've been sort of using and set all this stuff up and i realize that that's what it is that we do and that's why the our designs and stuff are different 
is because it's not just your landscapey outside. You know, some of my clients, they don't really wanna mess with a bunch of plants. They don't wanna mess with a bunch of stuff. What they want is they want this nice environment where they can hang out with friends and family and enjoy themselves and don't have to do too much work. So they really, they, they, they always, everybody says no to the water feature because they're thinking of this big, huge pond and, and stuff they gotta maintain. And they're not really thinking about water just trickling out of a wall and it looks a little small area. And then some of them, uh, actually everybody's saying yes to the gas fire feature. I'm seeing that a lot because they realize how much easier it is to set up the gas fire feature instead of dealing with the logs and stuff like that. So it just you're just defining the why every single day. Ever since that guy told me about define your why, I'm actually working on that and getting it better and better and better. And so this is why I do what I do. Like I said, it was an aha moment yesterday. But anyway, you get out what you put in. So if you want it great and you want something nice or what you want, put in something great and you'll get that out of it. Hey, thanks for watching the vlogs. I hope you're enjoying some of this B-roll, which is really amazing out here. I'm even having a rough time recording this vlog because I can't keep my eyes off of it.